What's up you guys? Welcome to another vlog. I know it has been a really long time since I posted on this channel and I'm going to kind of tell you why in this video. It is a paint with me video, which I've never done before. Um, I'm not an artist, but I have recently started to paint and draw and do other art. So I'm going to be doing like a series on this channel where it's like paint with me or do art with me in my pajamas. Um, I wanted something that is very calm, very relaxing, something that I'm not thinking about too hard. And because my life has been super stressful, I have picked up painting again, which I have not done in a really, really long time. So please bear with me. This is not a tutorial. I'm not an artist. Well, I'm not a good artist yet. But a wise person once said that the only difference between artists and non-artists, muggle and magic folk, <laughs> is the desire to create. So that's what makes you an artist. Everything else is practiced and it's a learned skill. It's not talent. No one's born with the ability to just be able to draw. They're born with discipline and they want to create something and they learn how. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just learning how and you know, we are where we are. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to kind of pretend that you're not there and just talk and paint and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. It really helps the channel and you get to see more watercolors. Okay, so I was originally going to do a four panel thing um, and on this I just have like flowers and mushrooms. I was going to do a forest. Then I changed my mind and we're gonna do a B. So since this is my first time um, painting on a video, I don't know if the angle is gonna be a little bit crooked. Uh, hopefully you guys can, uh, can see what I'm doing. If not, I do apologize. I'm doing my best. Whew, so it has been very, very stressful in my life. And I have not talked about that on YouTube, um, mostly because, I don't know, I just haven't really, I haven't really been ready to talk about some of the things that have been going on. Some of it is because it's not really my place um, to talk about it. It's probably been the most stressful year um, in recent memory. You know, my hardest year out of prison, and I've had some pretty hard years, but, um, but this year has been very difficult for my family. Um, and I have been so out of my mind stressed out that I don't even know what to do. You know, um, I don't think that a lot of people talk about, about their stress or their vulnerabilities on the internet like I do. You know, I, I don't know a lot of people um, that want to because they're sane. <laughs> um, and for me, I, I've kind of built a brand of transparency and I feel like I'm hiding things from you guys, which sounds probably stupid. Um, it's not intentional. I want to tell you guys what's going on and hopefully, um, hopefully soon I'll be able to, but man, I, I have been stressed. You know, I've, I've lost friends both from death and from setting boundaries. Imagine the fuck out of that. Uh, we've had mental health issues, car accidents. I mean, you name it. And whew, it's crazy. Everyone's okay. Everyone's okay. But I, I genuinely believe that this year, um, as difficult as it has been so far, I believe that it is for a reason. And that reason um, being that sometimes you just need to slow down. And that is what painting has kind of forced me to do. Uh, it's forced me to slow down and appreciate simple moments and kind of just take it one step at a time, one day at a time. And um, for that, I'm grateful. You know, I, I've definitely learned a lot this year and it hasn't come from wanting to learn it. You know, some, some lessons are pretty, pretty difficult like that. I, um, yeah, it's, it's been filled with just heartbreak on so many levels of so many different reasons. And I'm feeling just more overwhelmed than I ever have. So um, if you guys are going through something like that, it's my advice to slow down and, you know, try to continue to check in with yourself and continue to um, make sure that you're okay. There's so much that happens that is just completely out of our control. And for me personally, um, slowing down is not something I do easily. It's not something that 
um, comes naturally for me. I'm usually a go, 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 fix it, fix it, fix it kind of person. And I have been that person for so long that it has kind of come at a great cost to my own mental health. So learning how to slow down is, I think, really important. I want this V to be kind of fluffy. Um, I don't want it to be perfect at all. I want it to be kind of messy and kind of crazy. So that's what I'm going for. As you can see, I've sketched a little bit of a bee. It's cricket on the thing, isn't it? Sorry. But it's going, he's going kind of diagonally up this page. So. I think what I love about watercolor is uh, you don't have to be <laughs> extremely talented. Um, it's definitely one of those mediums where you can be super sloppy and messy and it still comes out looking really, really cool. So. So I don't want his uh, wings to have a lot of structure. I want it to be super like, like crazy, you know, and kind of more like abstract and weird. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm, I'm going for here. I genuinely believe anybody can do watercolor. Um, I don't think it takes a lot of talent. It just takes a little bit of practice. You know, um, I do a little bit better when I sketch something out. It helps me know where everything is gonna be. No pen intended. Um, yeah, so for me, I have to kind of, I have to kind of sketch it out first. Um, yeah, so I want to use like bright, like neon yellow for his wings. And I want to use kind of some of this yellow. And I just want to mix a bunch in here. Hopefully you guys can see that on the other thing. Um, I don't want it to be like super just yellow. I want it to have a little bit more depth than that, but... Honestly, if it looks like a bee, that's a win because I'm <laughs> I'm not the best at this. That looked orange. Like really, really orange. I mean, I'm sorry, that looks green for a second. So I don't want a ton of green. And then I'm gonna go back in. Or I'm gonna go into this little mustardy color. I don't want a ton of water. Okay. The yellow. So fun fact about me, I am obsessed with bees. I love them, I think they're amazing. And I have a giant bee tattoo on my arm, if you didn't know, um, it's right there. And that is like my, one of my favorite pieces. The bee was actually the first tattoo uh, that I got on my arm. So, you know, it definitely has a special place in my heart. I have a special place in my heart for that bee. It wasn't the first tattoo I ever got, but it definitely um, paved the way for others to come. <laughs> and it started my like obsession with it and my want for a sleeve, um, like in adult life. As a teenager, I always wanted a sleeve, but I like never, I don't know, I, I let other people kind of tell me that 
oh, it's going to be on your body forever, you know, or oh, it's not a smart idea. Or what if you hate that in 10 years? Like, okay, but what if I don't, Stacy? <laughs> I don't know anybody named Stacy. What if I don't, Karen? Okay, what if I love it? And what if it becomes like this incredible piece of artwork and it makes me happy? How about that? Did you ever think of that? Or I love when people are like, oh, you're gonna look, it's gonna look horrible when you're 60. Bitch, bye. We're all gonna look different when we're 60. And I don't think that I'm going to regret the chances that I took and the artwork that I did. I think that I'm gonna regret the things I didn't do. I think that I'm going to regret the, uh, you know, all the risks I didn't take and I'm going to regret all the times where I wasn't doing something that was, you know, in line with who I am as a person. Um, this year I've definitely started to learn more about boundaries and how to yeah, set boundaries. Um, you know, I, I mentioned earlier in the video that some people have come into my life just to take from me, um, money or whatever it was. But I really had a very weak boundary when it came to money because I'm like, oh, I can always make more money. They need it more than me or they need to eat or whatever, just it's fine. Um, and then when I started to say no, especially around money, and there's a reason why I'm, I'm saying this. Um, when I started to say no to people about money, they started to get really fucking mad at me and they completely turned their back on me in a second. And that is how I knew who should be in my life and who shouldn't be in my life. Um, and I think that's a really important boundary with people is money, whether it's family or friends. If you start telling people no, um, especially with money, because people, people be crazy about money, you'll see like just how nasty people can get, you know, and you'll see that maybe that person was just using you. Not even just with money, like... For some reason, I can't find friends that uh, break into my house and hide like little tiny unicorn statues. I don't know, I saw it on TikTok. I have the kind of friends that are like, yo, I need a ride, I need money and gas money, I need this, I need that, drop everything and do this for me. Where do I get the friends that are like, hi, I broke into your house and I cleaned all of it? Where are those people at, bro? I wanna know where those people are. <laughs> Cause I don't find those kinds of people. I'm that kind of person. I've actually done that before. I've actually, <laughs> I've broken into one of my friend's houses. Um, she was kind of going through like a mental health situation oh, so many years ago. And I cleaned her whole house and I was waiting uh, for her to come home with some food. And oh my God, oh my God. She just immediately broke down and started crying and it was just the sweetest thing ever. And she's like, you're fucking crazy and I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And from that moment on, I loved getting people gifts, <laughs> which is super random. Um, I love to buy gifts for people or even just do things, you know, like nice things for someone. And I'm really good with the small gifts, you know, like that one thing that like kind of changes your life in like such a small way. But every time you use it, you're like, oh, this makes my life easier. Um, for example, Reese has a gym addiction, and uh, <laughs> if you guys didn't know, and part of his gym addiction, you know, he uses a shaker cup every day. And I thought, you know, I think it would be like a good idea if I got him one of those automatic ones. So I'm a really good gift giver, excuse me, with like the small things. I'm really good at like observing something that's really, you know, small that might change your life. Good with those kind of gifts. I feel like there's like two kinds of people in this world. Those that are gift givers and those that are just like, here's a hundo, you go shopping, you know? Um, I'm more of the, here's a, here's a gift that you never would have thought of to get yourself. That's kind of like how I shop for people. I bet you didn't think I was gonna do pink and orange for the wings, or maybe you did, but I want their wings to be like super abstract and like weird. We'll go back in and detail them a little bit more but the thing with watercolor i've learned is like don't overthink don't overthink it let that shit dry and then build dimension after which means you have to be patient which is not not a skill that i possess um but i'm trying okay 21 minutes dude my camera turns off after 30 so 
you know, if it turns off, my bad. Oh, I love this purple. work on the wings he needs to be a little more fluffy though I'm, I'm just gonna kind of do some swishy wing thingies and then and then we'll see what I think <laughs> the wings would be kind of the hardest part, um, but it's okay. So I'm going to do kind of the same thing I did a second ago, just a little bit darker and up a little bit.
Okay, so I think that's all I have time for today. <laughs> Um, but I think it came out pretty okay for my first ever, um, Bumblebee watercolor. <laughs> I think he's cute. You know, he definitely could use some more details, but knowing me, I'll mess with it so much that I hate it. So like a big thing with watercolor is I have to learn when to just walk away. Like when it's too much and when to just say, okay, I'm done. Uh, but I love him. I love how he turned out. I think it's really good again, for my first one, so don't judge me. I was thinking about doing like a light wash of blue or something in the background, but this is really all I have time for today, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you stick around and watch me learn how to do art and stuff. I have a 3D textured art thing coming up soon. It's taking me a lot longer than I thought it would because that video was supposed to go up first, so I have two huge pieces that are textured art uh, that I'm working on and I can't wait to show you guys that one. So that's going to be the next art video. All right. So yeah, I'm proud of it. I might like put buzz off and like cursive at the bottom or something. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to end today's video here. I will see you in the next one. Bye.